Hello everybody, I'm Carter Groth and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of chipping. When chipping, you want to use the club with the most loft. So I'm using a sand wedge. So loft is just how far back the club tilts. So this is a lot of loft and it's going to cause the ball to go higher. Other clubs you can use would be gap wedges, approach wedges, regular wedges, or pitching wedges. If you have to, you can even use a 9-iron. A lot of the things with chipping are the same as with other irons. For example, the grip will be the same. So just to run through quickly, holding it, starting with your left hand, gripping it with the fingers, then right hand interlock with the right pinky and the left index finger. With the two V's or arrows made by your pointer finger and your thumb pointing up to your right shoulder. Then your setup is almost always the same. With going, starting with the end of your club at your belly button, hinging at the hips, setting it down gently with the ball in the middle of your stance. However, there are some differences while chipping. So, when you line up, instead of going right left swing, you're just going to cut out the weight shift and start with all the weight on your left side, so towards the hole. By doing this, you're going to be more consistent with where your club hits the ball. So instead of going right left swing, you're just going to start by leaning over to your left side. And then it's almost more of a putter action with your shoulders moving. One thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to be using your wrists to be just flicking the ball. You want to be using your whole arm. So when you're chipping, you want to make sure that you're lined up with where you're going. So I'm going to be chipping towards the hole on the right side in the front. So first you get your grip right, make sure your feet are square towards your target, get in a good stance, weight towards the front, towards the hole, then you chip. There are some different things you can do to mess with how high your chip shots are. So when you have the ball in the middle of your stance, it will go like a regular height. So just like before. Now, if you move the ball towards the front of your stance, but keep everything else pretty much the same, the ball will get more loft and go higher. Finally, if you put the ball towards the back of your stance, the ball will go lower and roll farther. One drill to work on both your chipping and your putting is called 11. So you're going to take five golf balls and throw them at random spots around your practice green. So I've got one here, one over there, another one. So they're located all around. And the goal is to get all five of these in in just 11 shots. So that means each ball is going to have one chip and one putt. However, you have one extra one just in case you need it. So I'm going to be going at that hole kind of in the front on the right. So I've got to make this in one chip and one putt. So that was the chip and now I've got to make the putt.
After that, you can move on to all the rest of your spots. Now that you know the basics of chipping, it's time for you to go out and start practicing.